favorites. Thank you for stopping by. I have a new uh, sponsor, Timu Hall, here. A couple of updates. And also, yeah, I wanted to get this in before the end of the month so that you can see what I did get on a sponsored, um, you know, with the seeding money on the Timu program. So today, first, I want to show you an item that did not show up at the time that I did the cozy fall decor campaign and that was with the fluffy slippers I had a duvet cover some pillowcases probably more than some I had several and then I also, also ordered a like serving tray for the bed and it's totally wooden it came the very next day so this is it it totally collapses so um, it's totally made of wood and I am in love with this tray because it's very sturdy and I'm able to just slide it between my dress, my end table and the bed when it's not in use and then pull it out when I want to use it. And so one thing I want to tell you about this, it is $24.29 at the time I ordered. And I'll have the link below because um, I did have it in the other one, but it did not arrive in time and I thought it was lost, but it showed up like two days after that video. So I wanted to show you this. So it is, it does have four screws. It does come assembled. It's just, you know, flat and in a box. But um, you do have to tighten it. It has a Phillips head uh, screw here and it has a piece back here. Now this piece will turn. So you do want to have something hold onto it, like a little pliers and um, tighten it because it, otherwise it was too uh, loose. This way it has, a, it will hold its position no matter what you do. And I like that because when it's on the bed, if you have coffee on it and you're looking at your YouTube videos in the morning before work, then um, it's not going to like tilt and, and collapse on you um, when it's too wobbly. So this is very sturdy. I love it. Highly recommend this. It's one of my favorite purchases to date. So, I mean, maybe that pink keyboard for my iPad might be one of my favorites, but this is a close first or second. So $24.29. It is a little pricey, but it is solid wood and and weathered. And I think they do have a couple different colors in it. Um, I do like how it has the lip here. So that's awesome. So I just wanted to let you know that did arrive. I'm very happy with it and I wanted to show you. Now the next campaign that I signed up for that I'm going to show you tonight is the Devote in Timu Electronics World. Now, a couple things here. I'm going to show you how to connect to an iPhone with a memory card, be able to extract or save photos or videos to that memory card off your iPhone. Now, that has been something that has been long coming and I've tried different devices and I'm super happy with the one I picked today. So that came in, so stay tuned. I'll show that at the end. I'm also gonna pop up a picture of my bedroom with the new duvet cover and a couple different options with the pillows. It's not quite Christmas, but I love the pink accent pillowcases that I did get. And um, my husband's okay with it. <laughs> he just rolls his eyes, he goes with the flow. Um, and that's why I love him. He's just a good person. So I will show you the memory card. That will be the last item I'm going to show you here. Now, in this order, I did get... Hey, have you noticed? I saw something today on the app when I was playing a game, doing my fish feed, watering my plants, and my one farm, uh, farmland game it has frozen my watering pot it froze it and I'm like what I did not pay attention and it said okay you need 360 whatever more watering feeds in order to unfreeze this and I thought hey is this something new I didn't you know I'm in a rush so I, I wasn't paying attention so today I had a second and I started to look into it and when I clicked on it it says due to the fact that you refer returned an item this is frozen you have 62 more feeds that you have to do or watering oh I have to collect water yeah I have to collect points for the water I don't get to water my plants they're all dying it's pretty much the story of my life with houseplants so 
Anyway, now my farmland plants are dying because I can't water them because I returned an item. It froze it. It has like icicles around it. So if you've seen that, put a comment down below. And um, every time I buy something now, it will give me more and I'm getting lower. I'm almost ready to unfreeze that watering tank. And I'm wondering now, are all those going to be gone or will I be able to recycle some of that? I was not happy about that. And so it does make you think. Make sure you're returning items you really want to return. And that, which I did. I did. I, I can't think of anything I second guess and wish I hadn't returned. But just know it's going to, if you got some credit from purchasing that in your games, it will. It will freeze your watering can. <laughs> only me. Only me. Okay. If it's not only me, then tell me below. And maybe it's just because I'm a stickler and I've had too many returns or certain things happen and I use coupons and I got credits and, you know, I can understand that. That makes sense to me. Okay, I'm trying to find this program. So this next item I already took out of the bag. It came in one of these, which, you know, this is a sponsored haul, so I would expect that. Now I'm going to go down to the... I had it all open, but then they keep popping up this thing I can't, I can't X out of. Okay, let's go there. And now I'm going to be able to see my items and tell you the prices. Okay, so this is a little tiny... Look at orange is the new black it's it's near Halloween so that's cute this was $2.49 and what this is is a portable memory card storage bag and I saw this on the double T's treasures and um, this is super cute it's super compact I like I like how tiny it is because I've seen other ones and they're like they're probably five times the size of this and um, this has several slots does it tell me how many 18 it can hold 18 SD cards and four CF cards. Oh, by the way, I think I said something about that Google clock. Well, it's not a Google. It's a G clock. What TF, TF is? It's like a memory card. So anyway, this has, oh, okay, so it has the big memory card slots. It has some of the littler ones. You have three to a sleeve there, and this one you had the, the big. And it looks like it's just one-sided, is it? Oh no, there's three on that side too. Oh no, here's the here's the big one. Here's the big one. And this is this is exactly the size I expected it to be. It's not too small, it's not too big, it's perfect. So that's the one item that was $249. Then I didn't get a lot in this thing, but because I'm gonna show you something at the end, I didn't want this to be too long. Okay. I'll get rid of that. I hope you're all having a good day and you're all ready for Halloween. Now, I did buy some of these like charging stations with the USB, but those were affordable. I went with one that was a little bit more expensive. I think I saw I think I saw him do this too on Double T Treasures. And this is a 10 port USB wall charge. Oh, I know why I got this one. Those little ones that I bought, those work great. They have the lit indicator. I showed them in a previous haul. This, and those were like $350, not even that. This one here, this charging station, it's not, um, it's not, you don't need to plug uh, a block to plug it into the wall. It's actually a regular, regular outlet plug, which is what I wanted. It has the heavy duty cord. So that's well insulated and it's a USB charger, um, five volt, 2.4 amps. And so that's it. And there's a little bit of weight to it. So I feel very confident. Those other ones um, do work, they charge. And but they're really light and ch cheesy. So this one is a lot thicker plastic. I just feel a little bit better with this one. This one is $10.99 though. So I know you can probably get it around that same price elsewhere, but I, I wanted to see what the Timu product was. And this was the most important piece because I did not want to have to use a block. I just want direct, indirect, what is that? Direct current, indirect current? Anyway, that is what I got there. 12 watt max. Okay, so we're gonna give those a try. 
Then the next thing, this is a thermal label printer and it has accessories with it. Um, the, what is it? Foam memo, foam memo. And this one was $25.49 for the whole set. So Reviews with Sue had bought one and even though I wasn't sure I needed it, when she showed that she made labels to label all her um, colored nail polish swatches, swatches, I'm like, okay, now I have a need. <laughs> now I have a need. Thank you, Sue. So I had to go get it. So we're going to open this up. And also, you know, while we're on here, I wanted to, um, I wanted to do a shout out to another YouTuber who does Timu Hauls. I really enjoy watching her. She walks her dog. She does a lot of hauling and her name is Deb's Cool Finds. Deb's Cool Finds. I'll have her linked below, but you know, she's entertaining as well and she's real authentic and that's who I seek out. People who, um, are telling you the truth so I like that and she is just under 500 subscribers so if you have some time head on over there tell her Lo favorites with Laura sent you and hit the little button and subscribe if you haven't over there check her out check her out if you like her so we are gonna crack into this so this um, comes like this, this little slide out here if I can if I can get it and of course it's a mangled box Ooh, pretty look at that Sue did you get this one I can't remember <sighs> how cute is that okay so lots of colors lots of label options they have the transparent the white yellow blue and pink of course but what I really want to see is the actual label printer now I know it prints black and white, but what I liked about it is it also is the same make as the thermal printer I use for my labels um, for mailing. And this is a thermal printer, so it does take the special thermal label printers. And they sell them all over the place, and it comes like that. And how much was this? This was, did I already tell you? Probably not. $25.49. Now, now I recall. I did tell you. <laughs> okay, so this does have a USB cord, which is another reason why I got this. And we're going to open this up. I have so many things coming up. I'm trying to figure it all out. Trying to get everything scheduled. And there's going to be a couple days where I don't have things up because I'm just... I have a lot going on right now so I appreciate it when you do see my videos that you do watch them and that you hit like and by the way if you don't know about Timu let me tell you Timu is an online marketplace like uh, many of the other online stores that you purchase from except they have lower pricing now the pricing is going up and down all the time so you just have to shop around there's many sellers through Timu that you can find your same products so when something's sold out one store you might just want to keep searching and find it um, at a different store um, pretty similar pricing so i don't know what this little dot is here but it's covered up oh that must be the display see i sh i'm thinking out loud and as i think oh and it does have a red light what what how is this working um i know we don't have time to read all of this upper cover decorative window power button this is the power button let's see okay I just turned it off now I have red it's got the um, it's like a Android phone co um, cord there then charging point port lanyard okay okay non-continuous tape continuous tape okay so I have non-continuous tape meaning there's separate separations between all the labels and it has all these directions we only look at those if we absolutely have to okay there's the little cutter in there we're gonna open this up okay I think we're getting this worst case scenario I put this in backwards best case scenario we hit it on the first try so let's undo this little tape here are you guys dressing up for the Halloween put that there okay so 
I'm thinking, man, I don't want to look at those directions, but I'm going to have to. I just want to make sure that I put this in the right direction, printing side direction. That's all I needed to see. That is all that I needed to see, which direction this was going to print. Okay, so we are going to do that. And if it's anything like that other one, oh, and it turns green. The light turns green down there right when you put the paper in and close the door. So once it has something in there, it's going to indicate that. Okay, and then I'm guessing there's an app for this. So, oh, oh, and I hit it. Now it fit it. Okay. All right. Does that do anything? Hmm. Okay. We might have to update this on another time. Make sure, connect now. Okay, so I'm gonna have to connect this to my phone. I think if I just do this, the QR code, yeah, there you go. I probably already have this app though for my other printer, but maybe not. That is a different app. I was hoping it was gonna be the same app. Print Master, okay, Google Play, Apple Store, so any of your devices should remotely Bluetooth to this. Connection, it has all the sizes. Lots of reading to do. I'm not into that right now. Let's see, Apple Store, or you can get it from Google Play. Okay, Print Master. It is a different app. Man, that's why I got the same one. I was hoping it was going to be the same, but it's not. And then, so that's what the app looks like right there that you would use. And how come, oh, it needs to see my face. Sorry, everybody. There we go. I wasn't doing the click real fast. Okay, so while that is downloading, I want to talk to you about the next item that I got in this sponsored purchase. And it is covered up by a big old fat label, but I can go to the records here. It is an OTG card reader micro SD slash FTF memory card converter. So it came in a package like this, and it was $349, and it looks like this. It has the iPhone connection to the bottom. I agree, it's downloading that other app. So this would just go right in here, okay? now. A lot of the memory cards will also come with the micro and you just slide that out of the micro card reader, um, out of the card. I think it's in the camera right now, the other one. So let me just see. Oh, here, I have one like this, okay. So you have a memory card like this and you see, you can tell this one has a micro memory card right there. So this is really just an adapter for the old, uh, older standard size memory card readers. But, and you can take that out, this is actually where the memory is going. It's on this micro one. So this one has the micro and the standard size adapter. Now, I took my other one out, my little micro, and see what's nice is it lights up. So it lights up when it's connecting and I have my little card. I'm going to slide it in here. We're doing two things at one time here because I do want to show you that other one. Connect now. Okay. We'll come back to that. We're going to come back to that because this one is moving along a little faster than I thought it would. Connect to printer. Okay. Oh, you guys, this connected so darn fast. I thought I would have more time to go through that other... Um, tutorial on how to get your stuff off of it. Okay, so light mode, simple and clean, design your labels freely, creation mode, plenty of functions and material. Great, so you have lots of options here. Scan, swipe to quickly match label paper. Okay, I did. Check to view your usage history. Well, I have none. Okay, one click print. Printing of common words in life. Okay, well, we'll just do that to start with. Okay, now my other thermal printer for my 
mailing labels super fast. As soon as I hit it, it's printed and done before I can even get to the printer. So let's see, let's, oh, cleaning. So these are some typical one-click prints. Fl flavoring, sugar. So if I want to label my sugar container, I'm going to say print one. Please select your label size. Okay, my label size. Cut labels continues. Oh, that's what that meant. Okay, there we go. Um, we'll just start with that one. Double red line, white double line. Oh, you can do double. Okay, well, we're going to just start with that first one. Okay. Uh, no, it doesn't have that, does it? Mm, no, it's just the first one. Okay, I see. I see. It's another option of a printer label that you can get. So it's going to print the sugar, okay? And I'm going to hit print. That's how fast. You guys. Now it's not, I didn't center it right, so I must have done something wrong with adjusting. I did, oh, you know what? I could have printed two things on there. It did do it. But next time I want to print this in the center, and I think I can, I can adjust that. But I just, for now, we're just going to look at it like this. And you're going to see, I can change the fonts. I can do everything with this. But that's how fast that printed. Wow, that's going to be great. I'm going to love that. I'm not gonna. Eat. I'm gonna call my box here sugar, sugar, my sugar. Okay. Awesome. Oh, I forgot to look at this to see if that had any kind of display to it. I have a lot to read up on this. I know I'll have an update for you in future hauls. So for now, we know it works, and I'm very happy with that. How fast it worked, just like my other thermal printer. Now let's move on to how to do this memory card reader from your phone. So the key is to make sure you're putting in your memory card the right direction. The way you know that is it goes all the way in and makes that connection. Just fine a second ago. There we go. Okay. So I put my, I put it in. Sometimes it's easier to do it this way. We're going to plug that in here. And I do it with the little, it has like a little loop lip there and I make sure that's upright. I don't think it matters though, but that's how I did it and it's lit. Okay, now, first things first, you will want to go to, so if you're going to save anything to this disc, this disc or this reader is going to be identified within your files. So just search out files on your phone, okay? And hit the file button here. And I am going to, browse now do you see that list when I hit so down here I hit the browse button or if you so you want to make sure you're on browse in your files and that you have all the possible locations that your phone can connect to so it's files can either be on your phone in your iCloud on OneDrive if you have that recently deleted or downloads now, this is going to be under the locations. This memory card, whatever is connected to this, is going to be identified under locations. And right now it's untitled. Now, prior to me, I just recently reformatted this memory card and cleaned it up. It, before that, it was titled Kodak because that was the name of the memory card. So what I have found is sometimes your memory cards, especially when you get them from different countries, they might have some Chinese writing there. They might have untitled. They might have the name. Like this one came with the name Kodak on it. So that was cool. But you can relabel that at another time. But what you want to do is hit that. Then it's going to say private. And you can look at that folder. But you want to hit the private. And then somehow this renamed it when I formatted off my camera. My Sony camera. And I'm going to click that. No, I'm not. <laughs> so file. Let me go back to to the private here. Okay, so once you hit the private, now you're going to have to go a couple layers in. And I don't know why that is. It's just files to help keep the formatting straight and things like that. But you want to get to the part where you can actually save or find the files that you saved to this. Okay, so it's going to be, in most of them, it's all pretty similar like this. M4 root. M4 root right there. Okay. Click that, 
Now, everything else is here to help keep this file organized and this disk working. But your files that you're saving, the photos, the videos, they're going to be under clip. Okay? So clip. And I have a couple files in there. One is a video that I've done that is not up yet. It'll be up on the 10th. And then... Anything else I'm going to put on here will be under the same thing, under clip from the M4 root, and then private, and then untitled. Okay, so I'm back to the home screen where I found my browse under documents, and under locations is untitled. So now we know where it's going to be located. Now if you make iMovies, and you're going to have something saved here, like from a camera, and then you're going to pop it in here or pop it into your iPhone, I'm sorry, your iPad or computer. iMovies won't, at least for me, maybe it does on the computer, I don't use the computer, I use the iPad. So with me, iMovies, I would just have to start, I would just have to create a new iMovie, and I'm not going to select my files. I'm just going to hit create, and there'll be nothing there yet then it'll give me the file locations and I would just go through M root, private M root, clip, and then I'll find my clips that I'm gonna save and utilize in iMovies. And that's how you can add it to your iMovie. So the path is still the same. It's just that with iMovie, you can't get to files until you open up a movie to create. And at least I haven't found a way to do that. Okay, so that's the path. The path is locations, you find your disk, either untitled Chinese letters or it'll be the name of the memory. And it won't be there. If you unplug it, you'll see it go away. So if you're not sure, unplug it, plug it back in and see what populates. Then you're going to know what your memory card is. Now I'm going to go to some photos here and I'm going to show you how we're going to save that. So I <laughs> don't want to show this one, it's my daughter is so funny. She dressed up as a pot belly man for Halloween. <laughs> it's hilarious, but I'm not gonna show that picture. Okay, so let me find a picture of something just generic here. By the way, I'm gonna do a pink zebra video release tomorrow. No, on the first, and you'll see that come up. Okay, so let me just take this little key ring that I've already shown. So there's the picture. I found it in my photos. I'm going to take that. See this little forward sign here? Take that. Hit that. Now, I want to save that. I'm going to scroll down and save it to files. Okay, because that's where the path starts. So under file, it's always going to default probably to the location within files that you've already gone to, or it'll be iCloud or something. So you always have to hit backwards, backwards, until you get to that location screen, the same one we saw earlier, okay? And there I see my little drive right here. I'm going to click private, the M4 root, and the clip. That's the path that I want to save this one photo to. So I'm already there now, and now you see it here, and up here you see save. Do you see that? And you see the file path here where I have my um, unnamed photo from Timu. Okay, so up here you see save. So I'm going to hit save. Now it is a little bit of work, but once you're doing it real fast, I mean, you're going you're gonna to get it. And now it's saved, okay? So it's saved there. It doesn't delete it out of the location it came from. You can go in and delete that now. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to delete this photo now because I don't need it. I don't need that photo. And it doesn't delete it off the memory card. It's just the source of where you got your photo, which was in my photo file. Now I'm going to go back to the main screen. I'm going to search out my files. I see my menu again. Now, it will take longer if you're doing uh, videos that you're saving, and I'm searching out private, M4 root, clip, and my photo is there now. Do you see that? I don't want you to see the video I have coming up. I don't think you can see it. But yeah, it doesn't matter. You're not going to see much. So anyway, this is the new photo I just saved there. So 
now it's there. I don't have to worry about it. If I wanted to save some family photos to a disc, that's how you do it. If you have any questions, because it is a lot, I'm trying to, sh you know, try to make it as simple as possible, but it can be confusing, and it took me a while to figure this all out. So, just put the comments below, and I'll, I'll try to help you out. But that was a great way for me to use my camera, use my phone, transfer the videos, and then I airdrop it from my phone to my iPad or if you had an Apple computer, laptop, whatever. I'm Airdropping goes so fast for me, so I just pick out what I want to airdrop. Or I can unplug this and I have another... Oh, I didn't bring it in here. Oh, yes. But I have this USB-C cord. And here I can put the micro this micro one straight into it and plug it into my iPad. So if you need help making these connections or understanding a little clearer, just just let me know. Put it in the memory in in the memory put it on the memory card and send it to me. No, I'm kidding. Put it in the comment field below and I'll be more than happy to help you out and see see if I can even. So that's the haul for now. But I have lots more coming. So remember, if you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe. This is the last one of this month that I'll be doing for Timu. I have other things coming up. I have more Timu hauls, of course. I have a ton of stuff. So never a loss for content over here. And oh, so if you like the um, duvet cover, let me know that too, because I am in love with it. My husband even liked it and he's happy with it even with the little pink it's not too much it's just enough and i think that's it everybody so remember to hit subscribe and hit the little bell if you want to be notified with a smile when i have new videos go up so thank you for watching thank you for watching this long and i'll see you next time take care bye